What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, Tory Lanez apparently just went live maybe, uh, I want to say maybe an hour ago, hour and a half ago, before I even uh, turned on the camera. He went live basically talking about his side of the story and his truth to what went down with him and Megan Thee Stallion a couple months back in the shooting of Megan Thee Stallion. So we're going to check this out. This video is like 25 minutes long. I knew someone had screen recorded it, the whole thing. So I wanted to kind of get my thoughts and opinions on it and see what Tori has to say, man. But I know for a fact, this is like a, a big who done it what's going on people have been trying to figure this out for months so i'm interested to see what tori has to say so let's get right into it appreciate all the love and support road to 30k let's see what tori talking about right. tori on, i'm gonna get want to be able to talk to whoever it is that i need to talk tori to right you're back tori let me skip through skip through when y'all wanted me to talk and saying certain things and I just felt like I owed my fans. I owed it to my fans and supporters of people who. Oh damn! I got hit with that pretty quick. God damn! <laughs> they hit me with that quick. When they look at me and they look at me as a role model, I owed it to those people as a person to just like give them some sort of transparency and some sort of accountability of certain things. I felt like, um, you know, for those who don't know, for the last three months of my life, I've been in this place where. You know, I've been bashed. I've been cut through just people every single day coming at me, true? coming at me, coming at me. And it's crazy because the whole thing about it is just like when this whole uh, debacle or whatever you call it um, came about, the whole time it's like she knows what happened. I know what happened. And we know that what you're saying and what the alleged things and the alleged accusations of my name is are not true. It's mm. falsified information. It's false information and it's not accurate information. I don't ever want to come off like I'm here to bash this girl or I'm here to talk down about this girl or ever be at a place where like I'm, I'm disrespecting her because to me as a person, she's still my friend. No matter what, even if she doesn't look at me like that, I look at her like she's still my friend. And, and That's interesting. That is very interesting. And supposedly, I guess, uh, Megan... I guess during the live or after the live, she uh, I saw it on the shade room that Megan had tweeted this nigga crazy. That's what she tweeted. She tweeted that basically insinuating that he's crazy. I don't know. Maybe he is. But if someone accuses me of shooting them and it's pretty bad for my brand and business and just bad in general to accuse me that or say that I did that. I'm definitely not on some. Oh, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? She's still my friend. She's, you know what I'm saying? I still got much love for her. Nah, if you coming after my character, bro, if you coming after my character and basically saying that I'm out here shooting women, black women at that, I have nothing to say to you. Like, we're not cool. We're not friends. I don't have love for you. I'm good on that. Especially if I know I didn't do it. So, I don't know, man. That's, that's an interesting point. In the times that we were together or around each other, we've had nothing but joyous moments and good moments. So... I, I'm not going to sit here and bash her, but at the same time, it's, it comes to a certain standpoint of me as a person where it's like, yo, do y'all want me to just sit here and just allow my name to be assassinated, my character to be assassinated, everything that I worked for to get here to just Someone be assassinated said free take, hey, for something that I and did not locked do, up for a while, something bro. that the Ain't events that, that are being said are, are not even accurate and accurately being portrayed to everybody, the narrative that's being created or being created to make me come off like I'm some monster is is now what I'm having to live through for three months straight of just people just coming and coming and coming this and coming is true. and coming. And it's like, yo, I'm not here to beg no sympathy from nobody. I've never been one of those people. I'm not a person that's sitting here like, yo, uh, 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 everybody feels sorry for me. Like, nah, because at the end of the day, if I did what they're saying I did, then by all means, I would say the same exact thing about me. I say that nigga's a bitch ass nigga. He doesn't respect females. He's a fuck boy. And that nigga deserves no respect, period. I've never been a person that all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's, it's everybody all of a sudden like, yo, he, he's this guy who uh, uh, doesn't protect black women. And he's this guy who, but it's like, he, he's this guy who doesn't care about black women. That's what the narrative is now switched into and certain things, and certain things like that. And it's like, hold on. I need y'all to really back this up. 
the narrative has gone to that point. Like, not going to lie to you, the narrative has switched drastically once this came out. Like, you know what I'm saying? People have been running with the uh, black men don't support black women movement. I, I'm not I'm not a fan of that. Like, yo, this is an isolated situation that we don't even really have all the facts to. All we know is someone got shot. She says it's him. He's saying it's not. He's saying he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just find it hard to believe that Tori just out here, you know, just disrespecting black women just for the sake of doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just find that hard to believe. But that the narrative has changed for sure. When have I not showed out for black women? The lead girl is black. From say it to love to, to now. Like, when, when have I not showed love to black women? I made I made five chicks tapes about about black love about a black relationship about a ghetto relationship at that like you feel me like when is true. did i become this person like my favorite song on the last chicks tape that i put out was beauty in the bends and that was a record that with snoop dogg that i loved and instead of me even being inside of the video like like really take me in for a second instead of me even being in the video and this is before all this instead of me being being in the video I made the video all about the empowerment types of black women in the video, all shapes, sizes, colors, um, um, ages, that just shows the, the, the love in, in, in what I'm doing. And it's like all of a sudden a narrative comes out with no factual evidence and all of a sudden I'm the back, the whole movement of, of protecting. Yo, what's going on with this black man's women, internet, bro? Speak on, my man's got the struggle right net, bro. Come on, on man. But Look at my man with the struggle neck. So Who I, is this? From the beginning, I've been white woman, what is white this? girl, and white man. I mean, Spanish man, Spanish woman, Indian man, Indian woman. When you guys start making it like a put black men down and protect the black women, I'm not saying you guys. I don't mean to make it like oh you're attacking, but when we as a whole make it protecting black women means putting black putting down black men, then it comes to a point where it's like okay, well who's gonna protect black women? Who is supposed to be protecting black women? It has to be black men. It's not the white man. Facts. It's not the Spanish man. Facts. It's not the man who. It's it's not none of those. It's not the Chinese man. It's not none of those men. It's, it it is who is who is it's black men. It's black men. And I'm not saying that black men aren't the people who in at, in in times who aren't the people who uh, inflict certain issues and, and mental issues and certain things mm -hmm. that girls go through like. Black men are, are, are very much the cause of a lot of things that, that, nice. that, that women go through mm -hmm. because of, at the end of the day, like the way we were raised, certain standpoints, maybe we didn't have a parent around, some things, some, some, some things were just not here to, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like you got to remember at the standpoint, if, if, if the man is supposed to be, and I say this loosely because I don't want Bro, what's up with my man's internet, bro? What's up with my man's internet, dog? Who's screen recording this? And we got to add. And we got to add. What is this? How we going to get an ad when it froze? That smells really good. <laughs> Damn, bro. My man's internet is struggling right now. Look at this. Look at this. So regardless, it's like, I don't feel like I should be torn down. If anything, before y'all know the story, like, learn the story first. Learn the factual parts of the story first. And then come at me and be like, yo, you need to fix this and fix that. If that's what you feel like I did. But My standpoint when I first originally heard this whole situation was simple. If Tory actually did it, he is a piece of trash. He is scum. If he actually did shoot her, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I said this from the beginning. It doesn't look good for him because he was the only one arrested on a gun charge. It's not looking too good for him. But I didn't just immediately cancel the guy because one person said it. And it just so happened to be a black woman. No, I'm I'm not I'm not dying on that hill of oh you don't if you listen to his music still you support the abuse of black women I'm not no kiss my ass anyone that has that mindset no that no that's not how I'm operating and you're not gonna make me feel any kind of way but I will say this I'm not big on choosing sides because you can't choose sides we don't know we weren't there. We only know what Megan has said, and now we're finding out what Tori is, is saying in response to Megan. So all this is up in the air. It's going to have to come to the court of law, honestly. Instead, I'm being torn down for a narrative that's like, now I'm the poster boy for I don't like black women. Let's start this off. When the original, original uh, report came out, and it was a TMZ report about this, that, and the third, and 
There was gunshots in Kylie Jenner's house and Tory Lanez goes to jail. They gave y'all all the facts of the juice of Tory Lanez going to jail and this, that, and the third and Megan getting arrested and da, 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 da. Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're gonna make a statement about what happened and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. So I'm like, oh, okay. I don't understand what the issue of me telling my fans like, yo, look, it's not that serious of a deal. I went to jail for whatever it is. Like, I, don't get, I didn't get for that two days why that was an is, uh, or issue. Two days later, TMZ report come out. TMZ reports and have the surveillance now. Now they see the video of the arrest. You see Megan, you see me. And you see it's all sprawled out on the ground in, in bathing suits and, and blah, blah, blah. And everything I'm saying is, is public record. You can go back and look at this shit. You can go back and, and see it. Like, you feel me? So they say, oh, okay, you know, um, the, the, you see her out of the car. She's getting out of the car. She's hopping. It looks bad, bro. It looked good. It didn't make any of us look good. No. And I didn't want that for her. I don't see that for anybody. So all of a sudden, when we get arrested or when bro. it looks like. Who is this? Sammy. Who is that? Sammy. Sam Maria Kirk, keep eye contact. Stop lying. First of all, I don't think this person has ever probably recorded a day in their life. And if they did, nine times out of ten, if you're looking on like an Instagram live or even just a camera, a lot of times people talk with their eyes moving. But specifically when you're just looking at a camera, it's rare that you'll just hone in and stare at a camera all the time. It's different when you're talking to a person. So just because he's looking around and he's talking, he's still at points looking at the camera. You feel me? That doesn't mean he's lying. People are people are interesting. We all got arrested. The memes start. Mm -hmm. Now I want to really bring you guys in for a second so you can understand something. The memes and I really just want you to take this in. Like, wow. She is a person I spent enough time with her to observe and understand something about her where it's like She's going through a lot. She goes through a lot. She deals with a lot on her day-to-day -day basis. And because of that, she's not used to, you know, and not even just because of that, but just because of the fact that she's been praised so much. We've always looked at her as like, yo, that's, that's hip-hop sweetheart. Like, mm -hmm. she's, she's nice. Struggle net, it, whatever man. Whatever the case, cool. We've, we've never seen a moment where the mean she's always been praised. So action off of what's been going on. So... It gets down to this point now where it's like every time hey, what's up? What's the screen on, recording right now, messes look, up, we get a goddamn ad. Right Coincidence? Right this is what I'm paying. I don't care how much you're paying for insurance. Now the, 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 the reports are starting to say, okay, uh, harm and danger upon me, right? So, okay, cool. Like, all of a sudden, the affiliates of her circle start pointing like little subliminal fingers, like count your days and like, I won't be around when you're shooting at feet and like little funny things that they start doing. And I'm kind of like, damn, hold on, where are y'all about to take this? Because y'all told me not to make a statement. So I'm, under, I'm trying to figure out where y'all where y'all taking me. To, I, don't, I don't get it. So then the uh, at, at this point, she goes she goes live because people are not really understanding the story or whatever cases. She waits. She doesn't go on, you know, a time when it's just a regular time. For y'all don't, who don't understand, it was one of those things where me and her knew what was going on. But y'all didn't know what's going on. She went live on my birthday. Mm -hmm. With all her jewelry on, da 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 And then she says, yo, you know... Um, I remember and that. the thing about the whole jewelry thing is, it's like, she, my bad. She knew that it wasn't a situation where, um, like, she knew she had to do certain sympathetic things, I, I guess, to push the narrative. And I don't know who told her to do certain things like that. And I'm not the one who's trying to, like ever point the finger at anybody but when it really someone comes said can down you restart our like, joint late you went on live on your birthday and then you said on my birthday and then you said i got shot in my foot and it didn't hit no bones or tendons so everybody's looking at this and again the internet is a sick place this is a place sick where people mode. don't give a fuck about you they nope. they do what they do they antagonize and they do what Facts. they do um you Probably. go and you see you get shot in your foot no bones tendons. the internet goes into an uprage because some people are like hold on how you not get shot? How you get shot in your foot and it don't hit no bones or tenants? Like, whoever is watching this, like, if you need to go on Google and look at a foot anatomy of bones and skeletons and tenants, you realize there's like 30 bones in your feet and like 100 tenants, some crazy number like that, right? Yeah. So, 
she now gets to this place where the people are like, hold on, and, and again, the internet is sick. Sick And that starts coming at her and saying, yo, show your feet. Because mm-hmm. we're seeing you at DJ Khaled's house mm-hmm. and you're on I your ticket. I remember that too. And then we're seeing that you're, uh, you know, that you're, 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 you're antagonizing her. They're, they're brutally coming for her and not giving her, I guess, what it is that she needed. But it gets to this point where now um, she posts a picture of a foot. And she poses this picture of her foot. There's no exit wound. There's, 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 there's a lot of, of inconsistencies in the story. And she says under the post, you see, I got shot in the back of my foot because when I was walking away from the car, she says I was, she puts this in capital letters. She says, I was walking away from the car and I got shot in the back of my foot. She doesn't ever show the other foot that she claims she got shot in. And I'm not trying to, again, I hate that this is coming off like I'm trying to come for her and whatever cases, but this is what I'm having to endure and watch when I'm knowing certain facts. So it gets to, um, you know, it gets to this place where I'm just like, bro, like this is not me and I, I don't deserve this. Like I don't, to be, I don't deserve to have to go through this. Like I never have been somebody who's had domestic cases. I've never hit no woman. I've never had abusive cases mm. with no woman. You can't pull those type of facts up on me. I don't have those. So it's like, I just didn't understand why I'm going through this. So now it gets to this point where she posts this picture of her foot and everyone's seeing certain things and everyone's, um, you know, saying certain things. Where's the surgical? You're not in a surgical room. And anybody who knows, I mean, this is like, it clearly had to be the first day that you've taken this picture. So if this is the first day that you've taken this picture, it's like, where's, the, where's, where's all the evidence? Where, why are you not in a surgical room? First of all, you're not even allowed to take pictures in a surgical procedure. That is against the law. It doesn't matter if you're famous or not. Hmm. So it gets to this point now where it's like, you know, um, she says I was shot from behind and, you know, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. And I was walking away and she puts that and then she deletes the post after. But that contradicts with the first post because you said somebody came out to hit you with malicious harm and danger to put you in harm and all this danger and all this stuff. How can you identify who's shooting at you if you're facing the other way? How can you I, I even identify criminal or malicious intent if you're not seeing what's going on behind you? And he also kind of explained that on his uh on his album that he uh recently released, Daystar album. He he kind of went to went into that like how you say I shot you, but you can't identify the shooter, and you wasn't facing me. So like I said, once again, I'm not taking anybody's sides because I I don't know. I wasn't there. I'm just going with what evidence we've been given. It's it's this has been one of the craziest stories to ever happen in hip hop in a very long time. It doesn't even make sense. And so it's like I'm looking at this and I'm just like, yo, this 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 is not right. Like and I I I I, I do see when people are getting at her and there's times when I'm like, damn, like do I help her or do I say speak up and say, yo, don't talk about her, whatever the cases are. But if I do that, then it's like I'm coming off like I'm guilty. And then if I say something about uh, having remorse like I would like to or saying something about certain things it's like I can take this in and, and understand like how this works at this point when all this starts happening LA Times okay this is a this is this is put this is put in public information got another ad on the way they hit us with the ads boy god damn presenting home chef god damn meals. Very it's like every time we glitch it out there I get hit with the ad oh well Com- I know y'all be like, oh, download that. LA Times nah, got an care. article, and in the article they say, um, you know, th- this is the initial uh, report. Two sources close to the investigation said that she had she got cut by glass, and she said that she got cut by glass. Mm-hmm. This is so. Then it's like, mm-hmm. people see that. Okay, hold on. She's saying they're saying on the initial police report with Officer Santiago, whatever his name is. You can go look this up. This is on LA Times. Mm-hmm. That's when it gets to this point where it says, okay, yo, um, so you got to understand, like, this is what's in their initial police report. Fuck all the Instagram. Fuck the other shit. This is just what's in the police report. So you got to understand, like, I'm getting to a point where I'm like, wow, that's, I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, like, at the end of the day, like, maybe some people might see this. Maybe some people might not. It gets to academics. It gets to, um, it gets to, um, it gets to, um, Academics, it gets to Hollywood Unlocked, it gets to certain certain places, right? And she comes out with this tweet that says, keep talking and I'm gonna stop sparing you. It's like, mm-hmm. my love, I have not been on the internet for three months. 
I have not been on the internet for three months. And then 30 minutes later, she just goes on live. And it's like, it's like me telling you, yo, keep talking, my nigga, and I'm going to slap you. And then I just slap you. It's like, you didn't do anything for me to slap you. I just slapped you. So it's like, who was talking to? Who are you saying to keep talking guys with that? I lost my mother. And when I, when I lost my mother, I realized one thing. When you lose a parent to people around you that are, that are giving you parental guidance or things that feel like parental guidance, to believe in that it is parental guidance and you go with it. That's happened to me. I've, I've been at that place where I've listened to a lot of people that led me down the wrong Whoever road because it felt like parental guidance trash. that I shouldn't be getting from my mother or I'm my father sorry, that uh, at that time wasn't around or whatever the case is. So, so now it gets to this point now, whatever the case is, boom, she, 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 she comes out and she goes, listen, you guys and you know all this extra shit, this nigga keep talking about me. And I'm in the back. I'm, I'm over here watching this, like, yo, what did I say? I didn't say nothing. I said nothing to you. It's nothing. D this nigga keep talking about me, bro. And so, you know what? Now we just gonna do it. This nigga, Tori, shot me, bro. Mm -hmm. This nigga I shot remember me. Remember that line. He shot me. She gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it, she gets into it. She starts breaking down the story. And I want y'all to pay close attention to how she breaks down the story. Not that. Okay? <laughs> really pay close attention. My boss will thank you. The Lawnmower 3.0. Now, everybody Damn online say that this. <laughs> I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. We get into a heated argument. I'm tired of arguing with this nigga. I get out the car. This nigga get out the car, out the car, and he starts shooting me. Mm -hmm. For no reason, he starts shooting me. So, boom, then the cops pull us over and da 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 da. Hold on. Let's take, let's take the first facts back for what she just said. So, you mean to tell me that you're in a car with a person? And this person is arguing with you. This person has gotten you to a place of like, yo, I don't even want to be around you. Like, I'm above this. I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. You get out of the car because the heated argument is so heated. Wow. I don't know if y'all saw that, but someone commented, how's your mom, Tori? Like I said, internet, very toxic place. And then this very person toxic. gets out and shoots you in both of your feet. And you jump back in the car? Why, why would you jump back in the car with a dangerous man who just did a dangerous crime to you, who did this criminal intent to you, and all this, all this? I'm not going to lie to you. That was a thing that I had been thinking about for a while. Like, well, if that's the case, why would she get back in the car with the person she feel just shot her? Because I know if someone shot me, I'm not getting in the car with them. I'm trying to leave the scene. Get some medical attention. Trying to, you know, escape. I'm not about to get back in the car with them. That's, I've, I've been saying that. Like, that is, that's, I don't know, maybe something not right about that story just doesn't add up. Doesn't make sense. Why? With that, like, I, that, to me, just doesn't make sense. Okay, cool. Yo, I lied to the cops. I lied to the doctors. Let me tell you why they saying there's glass in my feet, though. Because I lied to the cops. I lied to the doctors. I lied to this, that, and the third. Ladies and gentlemen, I need us to really understand what she's saying here. You mean to tell me that these medical doctors that are in a ambulance. And I'm back. My camera died, so I don't have another battery right now. So I had to wait for it to charge up a little bit so I can finish this video. Let's get into it. Work on on-site injuries 24-7 for, for all day. They have to know every type of on-site injury. The specifications on the type of on-site injuries so they can so they can treat it right. You mean to tell me you lied to these people and they just treated you for glass when you had a bullet in you? Hmm. If that's what you're saying, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say they were dumb. You mean to tell me that the cops who were called for a gunshot in a Suburban or whatever the car was found that same Suburban and found a gun in it, see you leaking and didn't check you for bullet wounds? I'll give you the benefit of doubt and say they were dumb. You then further said, yo, I'm at cotton mouth like a motherfucker smoking on this nigga, bro. You then say, you then say, oh, well, I was trying to protect this black man, so I never said nothing. I was, I didn't want them to shoot me. I didn't want them to kill me. Okay, but when me and Kelsey and Quan were over there being questioned, you were in a stretcher. No one is going to shoot you in a stretcher. You had plenty of time to tell the cops that you were in danger. You had plenty of time. 
protecting somebody who just heinously shot me after a conversation that we just had. I'm not, my mind is not on protecting you. I'm bleeding from my feet. I'm thinking about protecting my own life and I'm in danger. Why would you not say that with two feet bleeding from two bullet holes? What, from what you're saying? Hmm. When it comes to trimming your balls, he's, uh, he's the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. He's, he's so kind of saying some fan stuff, fan man. Bundle. Like he's he's kind of trying to plead his case here. I, I, I don't understand that. Mm. I didn't want to. I didn't want to put this black man on a. Pe on, on you know. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to get him in trouble. Like you know, what I'm saying I'm protecting this man, and he keeps talking. And so now, and to make him look good, and to make it look like I'm. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, have I been around in the last three months? No. Saying anything? Have you seen in the last three months one article that made me look good during this? Nah, nah. One? Really. Facts. Have you seen it? At this point, I'm just listening you to it. You haven't seen it nowhere. <laughs> this because at the end of the day, my PR team is not how it's playing with my jeopardy of my life and freedom. Just if this Y'all are doing this bad. for the internet. This is my life. I'm the only person with the case. They didn't allow my story to come out because it, it came off insensitive. I came off insensitive said, to well, people. You shot now, now, in now the I want to speak on this. Damn. I don't ever want anybody to ever think that I've been insensitive to Breonna Taylor. I marched nine days straight in Miami for her and George Floyd. A lot of people were saying I would that. Bro, I've mourned this woman as well. And everyone said, listen, we're mourning a black woman today. And you dropped an album? How dare the disrespect? Guys, let's bring this back. That day that I dropped that album, my mom, that was her birthday. And that was also the day she died. So I was also mourning a black woman. My mother. That meant a lot to me. My name is David. A truthful album about what I'm going through, and I yeah. thought that people were going to be able. He did drop to it the day his mother me. passed away. But they didn't and do his that. Mother's birthday and too. I don't expect you know everyone to just jump into my side because at the end of the day, I didn't deserve that for the way that I handled this. But look, it gets to a point where it's like, I just, I'm sorry that right now, like this is getting me a little riled up. It's just like I'm a human being, bro. Like I feel what you niggas feel. I go through the things that y'all go through, bro. Anybody on this comment list, anybody watching this right now, if you have ever been at a place where somebody has, for the day, just been like, yo, fuck you, or somebody just hit you with a bad comment and niggas are going at you, or mm -hmm. any celebrities that have been at a place where niggas are just coming at you, imagine just going through that for three months straight, just niggas, yeah. and you know that you're a talkative nigga that will say, nigga, nah, but you have your hands tied behind your back because legally, that, you that can't can, put anything else in jeopardy because that, it's not about that be Instagram at that point. It's about the well-being of my family and the mother of my child and my child. Make a decision of whether or not this was more important or Instagram likes and understanding of this or whatever case was more important. Like I've never, uh, or I've never been a person that's uh, uh, not something. Through every single thing that I'm going through, through every the judge with 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 uh, or not the judge the, the 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 accusations and the charges of 22 years and everything, I keep a smile on my face. Why? Because I know what I know. Hmm, that is interesting. He must know something we don't. Clearly, the soap has so much for me. It's one of those type of things where he is potentially facing the maximum charge of the 22 years. And at the end of the day, I'm not afraid of certain things because I got to be strong for the people around me, dog. But look, I pray to God this, this whole experience has gotten me so much closer to God and made me understand certain things about certain people and how they going to operate when something happens. And it made me realize this is how people operate and it's cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like... I, th this is another thing I want to I want to address on and I don't care who looks at me how they look at me like my point of this is not to make y'all start bashing her it's not to make y'all start bashing her when she's bashed I don't feel good it doesn't make me feel good or her put down or whatever because then it goes against ex how am I going to advocate for protecting her and bring her down all I'm trying to let y'all know and understand here is it's the facts it's the facts of which I got to understand. I can't allow at some point, I just like I was waiting for my court date so I can say something. And when I finally said it, or when, I, when the court date finally came, I finally am here and I'm being able to say what I have to say. And so if I'm coming off in any kind of way that's not the way that you want, I apologize, but I had to get this off my chest. And so it just is what it is. The truth will come to the light in the court of law. If y'all don't believe me, you don't believe me. It is what it is. If you do, you do. But I really just send prayers and But look. Well, Meg versus Tory thing. I'm not. I'm not beefing with her. I'm not beefing with nobody. I don't have no like. I'm chilling, bro. Like with all due respect, I'm chilling. I want to get back to myself. I'm not gonna respect. stop. I'm cool. When y'all see me at the club, 
and I'm chilling, I'm partying. Ain't worried about when y'all shit. see me if I come back with quarantine radio around Halloween, damn, bro. That's because I want to have fun. I want to still be the person I am. I want to still chilling, spread light. Bro. And the last thing I want to say before I get out of here, and it's very important to me, and I didn't say it at the starting because you know it would have been whatever, but I want to say it now. The whole situation with Nigeria and the things that's going on with Nigeria right now are crazy. I'm sending a hundred prayers over there and I want to raise awareness I'm not even sure for what's all going of on my celebrity Nigeria. fans to understand what, 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 what that, the whole SARS movement and all that stuff is going on. They got people that are in the government that are just like, like just randomly because they're, they're governed by the government can randomly just go out on the streets and just do shit to people, rob people, punch up your kid, all kinds of wild Stuff. Damn, and this is going on right now in Nigeria, and I feel like it's something that I didn't want to be insensitive to because at the end of the day, like I'm on live right now with two hundred and uh, two hundred thousand people. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, All right, no more ads. You ain't getting. Hit. I'm not getting hit with another ad. Hey, that's that's dope that he said that at the end. Um, but yeah, honestly, after all that he said and watching, we're well, pretty much listening because whoever screen recorded this. His internet quality was awful. But from what I just heard, Tori is saying, yo, I didn't I didn't shoot her. Well, he didn't explicitly say he didn't shoot her, but he's saying something that went down didn't go down like y'all think it did. So I'm not sure. Maybe he Maybe he shot at her and one of the bullets ricocheted. I'm not sure. Maybe he didn't shoot her and he can't say anything right now because of, you know, you know, it's a it's an ongoing case. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. But he does bring up some interesting points and interesting facts. So comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all believe Tori shot her? Do y'all believe uh, Megan is lying? Or do you believe Megan is telling the truth and Tori's lying? Or do you believe somebody else that was in that vehicle may have shot her? Comment down below. Let me know what's y'all opinion on this whole situation, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 30K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one, man. Peace. Peace.